While Trump is on the attack when it comes to James Comey, he is continuing to defend and indeed celebrate Friday's coalition airstrikes on Syria. Syria, Iran and Russia have called the strikes aggression and invasion. Trump has called them an enormous success. But the attack has left many people wondering, will this change anything? Derek Stoffel looks at that from Jerusalem. The information war is now underway following the missile strikes. Take this building, destroyed, the U.S. military says, because Syria's government was developing chemical and biological weapons here. Not so, says this Syrian official, who says they were only producing pharmaceuticals, such as cancer drugs. The message from Syria's president that for the regime, it's business as usual. Meeting with visiting Russian politicians, Bashar al-Assad called the missile strikes an act of aggression. The Russian lawmakers say Assad was in a good mood, while in Washington Donald Trump was in a fighting mood, defending his tweet declaring mission accomplished. For many it brought back memories of George W. Bush and that banner that turned out to be premature during the Iraq war. Even a former Bush press secretary, Ari Fleischer, cautioned against using those two words. Trump tweeted today, lashing out at the fake news media for demeaning the success of the military action. But there are questions about what exactly the strikes accomplished. In the larger scheme of things, this is not very important for the Syrian civil war. Nikki Haley, US. On Fox News, Trump's ambassador to the UN was asked if only hitting the Syrian regime for using chemical weapons will give Assad the green light to keep killing with conventional weapons. I don't think we've ever said it's okay, period. I think that we have a lot of issues in the world, and I think we're trying to put out as many fires as we can. Trump's policy on Syria appears to be one of disengagement. We look forward to the day when we can bring our warriors home. On Friday, he repeated his call to bring the 2,000 American soldiers in Syria fighting ISIS back home. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Jerusalem. There's no sign the horrors of this war are going to stop, but will these strikes even achieve the limited goal of stopping Assad from using chemical weapons? That is far from clear. I think the words cripple and degrade are, are, are good, accurate words. With words, the Pentagon is as precise as it likes to think it is with smart bombs. That will significantly impact... The words like significantly impact or we believe. And we believe that's going to, they've lost a lot of equipment, they've lost a lot of material. The message is carefully calibrated for a reason. Actually ending chemical attacks in Syria is devilishly difficult. Almost a year ago, after the first round of airstrikes, the idea was deterrence. If this happens again, we are putting you on notice. It did happen again. Even though diplomacy, not airstrikes, had thinned out most of Assad's chemical stockpiles years earlier. Back in 2014, the international community supervised the destruction of facilities, delivery systems, and hundreds of tons of chemicals. But chlorine gas reappeared on the battlefield within months. And chlorine is a real arms control problem. It's deadly, it's easy to deploy, and it's available commercially because it happens to be a vital part of water treatment. In water, it saves lives. In bombs, it takes them. So how does anyone stop its use? And there are still nerve agents like sarin that can be made in easy-to-hide facilities. So think the airstrikes a few days ago got them all? I think we dealt them a severe blow. There's some left, but we dealt them a severe blow. The Pentagon seemed to know better than to claim they got it all. Whatever effect these strikes have, it is Syrians themselves who will have to live with the consequences. So we checked in with some Syrians we've introduced you to on this program over the last month or so to get their view, a doctor, a writer, and a teenager. It was hard to get through and not always easy to hear, but we wanted to know what they think of the recent airstrikes. So here they are in their own words. Thank you. 
بس الحقيقه انا ما كنت مسروره اليوم يعني بهذا الوقت من هي الضربه يعني ما كنت سعيده ابدا فيها هي الضربات جاءت متاخره جدا نحن من حوالي اسبوعين بس تهجرنا من الغوطه بعد استهداف الغوطه طبعا الغوطه مستهدفه من سنوات ولكن حمله شرسه ضد الغوطه كانت حوالي شهر ونص تقريبا استخدموا فيها كل انواع الاسلحه اخر شيء كانت الضربه الكيميائيه يلي عم يقولوا انه كرماله استهدفوا النظام لما فيني ازعل لما المقار والاشخاص نفسهم اللي عم يقتلوا الشعب السوري من سبع سنين ما فيني ازعل اليوم لما عم يستهدفون All the people here was thinking that this airstrike will uh, finish the regime, will stop the, uh, this regime of making massacres after massacre. So they now feel disappointed, especially after the speech, after the airstrikes from uh, the Pentagon that they have finished. And if the regime use uh, the chemical weapons again, we will do something in that time to wait the a criminal to, to make another crime to punish him. I think it's um, it's not fair for the people who who are living here.